7.30, back again here in the battle against Father Tom. I'm going to lose, but I'm not going to lose without a fight, right? With apologies to the great Gene Simmons, the hair is uh, not looking like myself quite today. Um, but I thought I would share a clean eating training meal, if you will. Um, and I'll do this bacon, but about once a week because obviously that's not super heart healthy. Everything else I'm eating is. Um, the eggs I don't do every day as well. I'm doing a protein smoothie most days and I'm also doing fasted cardio most days. So I don't have the opportunity for something as delicious as this before doing the cardio. Um, so I've been eating clean and working out, I guess since um, Wednesday of maybe last week. Um, so about a week now, feeling better for sure. Um, maybe it's just been a week. Hard to tell. The face looks leaner, I can tell already. Down here at Rock Creek Park where I'm doing the cardio. Um, joining Landon to do those a couple days a week and then some by myself as well. It's an easy mile out on the path and a mile back, just flat, plain ground. Very easy to do the cardio, particularly when you get the headphones on. Nothing to it but to do it. Um, I think this this is going to be hopefully a successful attempt to turn you know turn the time, turn the clock back on the old weight gain and stuff and get trimmer and leaner and um, I do this about every year or every other year at least and I'm feeling very positive about this year. I think my approach is going to be um, a little bit different than last year. Last year I just tried to focus on doing cardio every day and I really plateaued pretty quickly. Whereas this year I think I'm going to try to really include heavy lifting because. I have noticed that lifting with Landon, I, I feel like I'm burning a lot. Like I'm pouring the sweat. It just literally feels like I stay in the burn zone a lot longer. I think I lost like two pounds this week. So that's positive, but you know, just the beginning, obviously. I'm trying to wear sandals almost exclusively, which has really actually helped my feet quite a bit uh, on many different ways. Um, so I try to make sure that I got my kit with me at all times. Go somewhere cool, have some time to kill while Nancy shops or whatever. If there's a park nearby, I'm gonna try to make sure that I just pop out there and get moving. So largely like uh, the keep it moving tour is what we're what we're going for this, this go around. My I guess. situation being like 100 pounds overweight, relatively inactive with the computer lifestyle, except my massage therapy days where I work on giants. Um, what do you say? is the best approach to ultimately lose about 100 pounds. But really, in the short term, I'm looking to lose like 35 pounds. Well, what we're doing now, faster cardio, cutting back late night snacks. Well, I've cut those out completely. Got the water a day. And then what we've been doing, you know. My approach. To minimal weight training just to get your but, body. But I mean, like, you know, minimal weight training is actually more than I was doing before because I was strictly doing functional. Like I was doing you know, the ball, walking with the ball, curling the ball, putting it over your head, throwing it, versus we actually, we actually lifted weights when we worked this week. Right. Now, you know, Eddie Hall says that will make you cut burn fat faster than the yeah, other stuff. I believe that 110%. I will say that I felt like I was burning more when we were doing it, so. I say that you walk on a treadmill for 35 minutes, you look down and you see the calories you burn. As soon as you get off the treadmill, you're done. Your body's not burning any more calories. They say weightlifting has a 72 hour afterburn effect. Three days later, that workout you did on Monday, you're still burning calories from it on Wednesday. Well, I definitely feel like I get a longer burn from it for sure. 